Hey guys! So I've noticed you guys want me to do heavier looks. You guys get tired of my very natural makeup looks. And I completely understand that so I took that on board. And I create this very, this very intense kind of smoky look for you guys. And I absolutely love how it turned out. I hope you guys will like it as well. Ignore if you can hear thunder outside because... <sighs> Yeah. So this is what it looks like. I hope you guys will enjoy the tutorial as well. Let's start. <laughs> to be using the Madison Street Beauty in shade 05 Biscuit. I'm going to use this bronze heart here. I'm just going to pack that all over the entire lid and then I'm going to blend it with a blending brush over the crease. Just pack it on until you're happy with the intensity and then blend it over the crease. Also just blend it until you're happy with the intensity. Now with this brush, I'm just going to take this darker color here and I'm just going to apply that around the top lash line. And then slightly give it a little blend. Yeah. Next with my Sedona Lace Bent Brush, I'm going to dip that into the darkest shade and I'm just going to roughly line the eyes. With a smudger brush, I'm just going to smudge. Next, I'm going to build up those same three colors on the lower lash line. First, I'm going to take the bronze heart in the middle and just apply that to the lower lash line. I'm just going to apply that. And then picking up that darkest shade at the bottom and very closely to the lash line, I'm just going to line that. Once again with the smudger brush, just smudge that. Now with the Bella Perry Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner, I'm just going to line the bottom waterline. In order to intensify it, take any dark black eyeshadow and just apply that over your waterline as well with an angled brush. I actually forgot to finish applying the eyeliner everywhere I wanted to, so also put that in the inner corners and the top waterline. Also take that black eyeshadow and apply that as well. And if your eyeliner smudges from your high watering, you can just use a little bit of concealer or in my case eye primer on your Q-tip and then reapply your bronze eyeshadow really quick. Next with the Mika Beauty Cosmetics Gel Eyeliner in Black, I'm just going to pretty intensely line the top lash line. Just following the natural lash line. And then pretty intensely I'm going to bring it out. here at the bottom. I'm just going to apply that to the crease to bring a lot more definition. And I'm going to blend it out. I'm going to add a bit extra right here. I'm just going to touch up the inner corner slightly. 
Now with the Eye Man Brow Pencil in Blackest Brown, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows pretty intensely, really. Now with my LA Brow Kit, I'm just going to take the darkest shade here. Then I'm going to dip it in the middle shade. I'm going to take a spoolie and just brush it out a little. Just go ahead and do your mascara and curl your eyelashes. Next I'm going to take the Ardell Demi USBs. Using the Ofra blush stripes, I'm going to use the white color to highlight the brow bone and the inner corners. going to apply the Rimmel London 1000 Kisses Lip Liner in Natural and I'm going to overline the center bit of my lips to make it a bit fuller but I'm also going to go all the way across. Now with the Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick in Bond Girl, I'm going to apply this to the lips. Mmm, smells nice. to touch up the edges a little bit with my photo ready concealer and I just went back and forth between a lip brush and my concealer until I was pretty okay with the shape of the lips now I'm taking my hula bronzer by benefit And for my blush, I'm just going to use this blush. Since I don't have like a cranberry blush, um, which I need to get, I'm going to just use this blush here. Now I'm just going to brush up the brows and fill any sparse areas that happen when I do that. so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and God bless. Bye! <laughs>